welcome back to my channel i hope you're all very very well today so welcome back to my channel my name is nasa jade if you are new here welcome to my channel i upload three times a week i also have a vlogging channel too so make sure you check me out over there so today's video is gonna be my first ever color pop review so i recently put my very first order in at color pop if you haven't heard of them before they are a makeup brand and i think they're from america but i know that it's hard to get them in england because you've got to pay import fees and shipping on all that kind of thing so I ordered this beautiful palette and I wanted to be able to show you guys a bit of a first impressions. I'm going to do a full set of swatches on this and I'm going to tell you all about this palette, whether I think it's worth the money or not. So if you want to see, then make sure you stick around. So I'll start off by telling you guys a little bit about this palette. This is one of the Colourpop palettes. You can make your own palette with Colourpop. So you can choose how big you want the palette. I think there's two sizes, the big and the small one. I went for the small one just because it's my first time using the brand and I was on a bit more of a budget. So this is what the packaging looks like. This is absolutely stunning. It's a gorgeous lilac packaging with butterflies and flowers coming from the bottom, which is so pretty. And it says Colourpop on the front. It's also very glittery, which I love. And then once you open it inside, this is what it looks like. So basically with this palette, you get a list of different colours and different shades and pigments that you can choose from. And then you create your own palette. So basically choose the colours that you want. I think this is the best idea because not everybody is going to want the same colour combinations. I might want loads of bright colours or I might want loads of nude colours or I might want a combination of all of the above. And you can literally like, pick and choose which colours you do and don't want. And you can actually choose where they go as well because these are actually magnetic so you take these out and put them in wherever you want them to be which i think is really really good so you can also replace these so if one of them you hit the pan on one of them and you want to replace it you can buy another one to replace it with that kind of thing this is just an up close of the palette so in total i have seven shimmers and i have five mattes so there's 12 shades in total I wanted to go for a bit of a combination palette, so I wanted to be able to say that you can do kind of nude looks with it, which you can. I wanted to be able to do kind of the sunset looks, a pinky look, purple, blue look, and I also wanted a combination of different shimmers. And I picked this one because I wanted a nice inner corner eye shimmer. So I'm so happy with the final look of this palette. I just wanted to have a combination of different things that could be used for different kind of looks. So I'm going to start off and I'm just going to remove my current eye makeup. And then I'm going to be using my P. Louise base. And I think I'm going to use the shade 2 for this one. Or I might even use the shade 0. Um, I'll have to see. I think I'm going to use the shade 2 though. And I'm just going to use that to base my eyes and to help prime them. Because it's going to stick so much nicer if I use that as a primer. So I'm going in with my base. This is the P. Louise base in the shade 2. And I'm just getting a small amount of this on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to apply this from there onto my lid and I'm going to use just this flat brush. I'm just going to play around in that a little bit. I'm going to just apply this onto my lids and this will just give it a nice sticky base and make kind of the pigment stand out a little bit more. But I'm just properly going in on this. I want to have a good coverage. I'm not going to lie, this eye here is really sore, especially in my crease really so and that's just i think it's just from doing makeup and doing too much so that's what it's looking like now and now i've finished my base so i'm gonna go in and i'm not 100 percent sure what colors i wanted to use i really wanted to try out the reds and oranges but i feel like i'm gonna have to go with the pastels because they do look really pretty so i'm gonna start off and i'm gonna start with this pink shade here this looks really really pretty so i'm just going to get some of this and i found that a couple of these shades are a little bit crumbly so this pink one is quite crumbly and then this gold one is a bit crumbly but that is a pressed glitter so i can understand why that one is um but the gorgeous shades and there's so much pigment in them so i'm gonna start on my outer corner and just blend that in so i'm just starting there and blending it towards my inner corner along my crease so that it is where it's looking i'm just going to zoom you guys in to get a little bit of a better view of what's actually happening so that's a little bit better for you guys so i'm going to go in with that purple again i'm getting quite a bit a lot on my brush because i want to kind of more pack it on then blend it on at the start and again on my crease and then blend it through So that's what it is currently looking like and that is such a gorgeous kind of pinky purple 
I'm not sure what colour this actually is. It's like a pink with the tint of purple. I like a purple with the tint of pink, but it is so gorgeous. I'm just trying to blend my edges out a little bit more. So that's now what it's looking like, and that is such a gorgeous colour. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with that lilac pink shade, which is the one in the middle of the two there, this lilac purpley pink. And I'm going to go in with this brush here. This is an Olivia Hale brush. This is the base shadow brush. I'm just going to use this to blend into my crease that gorgeous pinky lilac-y purpley shade. I'm going to grab quite a lot of this one because this one's not as pigmented, but that is just because it is a pastel shade and pastel shades are never pigmented so so i'm going to start to run that from the inner corner all the way up to the center of my lid through my crease and that is such a pretty color and just blend in really nicely with the other shade so i'm going to do the same on my other eye so from the inner corner and then blend it up towards my crease So that's what it's looking like, and these are such gorgeous colours. So I'm going to keep going and blend these out a little bit more before I add any more colour in. So I've blended that out quite well now, and I'm just going underneath the outer corner of my lower lash line and just blending a little bit of that dark purple, just to kind of blend that in with the colour we've already got that's kind of going up there. Just to make sure the look looks a little bit more kind of collected, a little bit more together. So I'm going to go in on my other eye and do the exact same thing. I don't want to go too heavy, I just want it to kind of all connect up. So that's what it is looking like, and I'm already excited to love this eye look. And I may go in a little bit of that dark red, just in the very, very outer corners. I don't want to use too much, just a very little amount. And I'm going to use this brush here. This is one of my Studio London brushes. This is the turquoise coloured one, like the kind of cyan, I'd say. So I'm going to go in with literally a tap of that red get any of the excess off and then I'm just applying that right in the outer corners there tiny smart products and that's just kind of like bring the look together a little bit more and then the same on the other side I'm just gonna press that in and then start to blend it through and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be doing a cut crease because I wanna use some of these glitters because these glitters are absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna do a cut crease so I can try some glitter out. And I think I'm actually gonna go in with the purple glitter because that's one of my favorites. I may do like the blue and purple because I really wanna try the blue one out but I don't really have any blue in the look so far so I may end up doing like pink and purple. But I'm gonna go in with my Pillow's base again and just apply some to the back of my hand just like we did before. Then I'm gonna go in with that flat brush again and just start to apply this onto my lid. I don't want to do my full lid because of the corner out there, so I'm just going to do like probably a three quarter cut crease. So I'm just starting down here. Because I want to blend it nicely in to that red we just applied. So that is as like as equal as I can get it on both sides. I just end up going like higher on one eye, so I start going higher on the other, and it just ends up looking ridiculous <laughs> um, so I'm gonna blend this in and I'm actually gonna use a mini beauty blender for this so I can find a new mini beauty blender so I'm using this one here but it's got a really pointy end as this one I am literally patting it I'm not rubbing it on it to exactly where it is I just want to kind of like not dry it out a bit but I want to kind of blend it in a little bit so it's more matte and more blended so I'm gonna do the same thing on this eye but again I don't want it to be blended too much anyway because we are doing this so we can put the glitter on top of it as like a kind of a tacky base. And this is one of the most difficult decisions deciding which glitter to use. I kind of wanted to use a gold, but in my last makeup look I did on this channel, I did use a gold glitter. So I'm going to go in with the pink. I've decided I'm going to go in with the pink. And this is such a gorgeously pigmented pink. Like, look at the colour of that. It's so gorgeous. So I'm going to go in. And I've been using my Beauty Bay palette, my Fairy Matte palette, as a mirror because I've lost my mirror again. So I'm just applying this all of my lid and the colour is stunning so that's what it looks like and then I'm gonna go in and do the pink again on this eye as well if I'm honest I kind of wish I hadn't done the pink just because it blends in well with the other colours and I want to be able to see different colours in the look and see what it all looks like but we're gonna kind of build up on it anyway so it'll be fine I'm going to reapply all the colours that we applied in the first place, just to make sure none of those have been lost in the cut crease that we've just done. So I'm going to go back in with the Olivia Hale brush, and I'm going to grab that gorgeous pink colour, that purpley pink right at the top that we've been using the whole time, 
and I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna go over exactly where we applied that which is over here in my crease and down here to make sure that isn't lost As you can see that's now a lot more pigmented I will need to blend it all out again but that's not a big deal it's just nice to be able to build the colours up in fact the more blending you do the less work you're gonna do later in the look and the easier you're just making it for yourself, like you're just making yourself an easier job basically. I'm going to go in with that red again and I'm just going to tap that into my outer corners and this is where it comes in because I want to blend the red into the pink glitter and the pink on the lid and the pink like through the crease so that kind of helps like bring it together a little bit more. And I'm going to go in on the other side and do the same thing and just patting that through there and then packing it on. So it looks a little bit better. I'm going to go in and I'm going to tidy these edges up a bit by blending them out. I'm actually going to use my little fluffy brush from Real Techniques. So this is what the eye look is looking like now. And I want to kind of bring some more of that purple back into it. So I'm going to go in with that nice, pretty lilac purple shade. And I'm going to go in and just kind of tickle this on my inner corner. Because this is such a pretty colour. And I feel like it's really an intense pink look. And we kind of lost all that purple. So I'm going to go through the first corner of my crease at like the inner corner I'm just run it through my crease a bit so you can kind of see the purple starting to come back in and I'm actually going to go in with that blue one as well but not yet so I'm just running that through let's just bring that nice gorgeous light purple back into it so that's what it's looking like and I really love the transition between the purple and the pink I'm going to go in with the purple glitter now so that is this one, just to remind you from the palette. That's this one right here, which is so shimmery. And that's a swatch of it, so it's so gorgeous. And I'm actually going to apply this from the inner corner out. So kind of where that light purple starts. Out into the pink shimmer. So kind of going from purple shimmer into pink. I just want to really quickly show you something, because that is a stunning colour. But the fallout is very, very unfortunate. I don't know if I just got too much on my finger or what, but the fallout of this palette is a little bit too much for me. Um, I'm going to zoom in on my face so you can see what I mean, but it's got a ridiculous amount of fallout then. So I've just gone to try to wipe that away the best I can, but now you can see how that's kind of blended into my skin as that fallout, which is really annoying. It kind of looks like I've been bunched. So I'm just going to try to remove some of this with my makeup remover, which is really, really annoying because it did look really pretty, but the fallout really didn't help the situation so i'm going to go in with that really fluffy brush again i'm going to go in with that kind of like light cookie dough shade it's like that purpley blue shade there and i'm going to run this over the top of these bits here just use a bit of a transition shade it's a really pretty transition there i'm going to do the same thing on my other eye i feel like it just kind of like Makes it look less all over the place and makes it look less messy. So I'm dipping back into the light purple. I'm running through that first bit of my crease again. And then the same thing on my other eye. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over those glitters again. Just to make sure they're properly defined. So I'm going to go in with the purple first. I'm just going to apply this to the first half of my lid on both sides. It's a gorgeous colour, but yeah, if I apply too much of that, the fallout is ridiculous. Like, I've just had a massive amount of fallout on my face again. If I kind of, like, blow it away, it works, but other than that, I just could be really careful. But can you see the shimmer there? It's so gorgeous. I'm blending that in, and I'm going to use the pink to blend into my outer corner. So I've got the two gorgeous shimmers there. I'm going to do something on my other lid, so the purple on the inner corner... And I'm going to use the pink to blend on my outer corner. I'm going to apply some eyeliner for this look. But I'm actually going to go in with one from a different palette just for this. Because I want a really dark one. And there's not that many dark ones in that palette. So I'm going to go in with my Fire 8 Matte Palette from Beauty Bear. And I'm going to go in with the shade Cherry Colour. Which is this one here. Which is the second darkest brown. And I'm just going to go in with my Real Techniques Smudge Liner Brush. And I've just kind of like dipped that in. I'm just going to really, really carefully apply this. So I'm just playing with this until I'm happy with it. And if I'm honest, I'm quite annoyed because the brush that I normally use for my liner has gone completely missing. 
So he's a completely different one at the moment. So that's what the line is looking like at the moment. And I want to just darken it up a little bit. So I've got my thinner brush. This one I think I got from like Home Bargains or something. And I'm using the one called Brown Suede. And I've just kind of tapped that into there. And I'm just applying that over the top of the other one. Just to darken it out a little bit. So that's what that's looking like. I'm going to do it on the other one as well. Because it's a really pretty colour, but I'd just rather have it to be a little bit darker. So I've applied my liner now. and It's not the best, but it is going to do. And there's been a lot more fallout on my face. You can't see it as well on camera, but there's been a lot of fallout over here and a little bit more over here, which is the only negative about the palette is the fallout. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to use a mascara now. I'm going to use my Model Zone Mascara. It's one of my favourite ones, and it is the Grand Lash Master Mascara. I do really like this one. I bought it about a year ago, and then... I used it for like a month and after that I just never reached for it and I don't know why and then I picked it up at the end and I was like do you know what I really like this it's got a really nice wand and it's not too thick it's not too thin you can see the amount of fallout on my hand there it's not too thin it's not too thick but it's got really good coverage and some ones I find are just way too funky way too crazy for me and they just end up with mascara everywhere so this one is literally perfect so I'm just going to keep applying this and if I'm honest, I'm only going to do one coat because that's all it really needs. So that is the final look and my overall conclusion on Colourpop. I'm obsessed with the packaging, I'm obsessed with the palette, the pigmentation is gorgeous, the actual colours themselves are gorgeous. The only thing I don't like is the fallout and that's just the glitters and I don't know if that's just because I applied too much products, it's probably my fault. But yeah, that's my only flaw but I wanted to be honest with you guys, you guys know that I'm always honest and open about products. If I like it, I'll tell you. If I don't like it, I will tell you. But thank you so much for watching this video. I'm just going to scroll you guys, oh, back in apparently, I'm going to scroll you guys out now. So thank you so, so much for watching this video. I have had such a good time filming this. If there's any other palettes, brands, anything like that you want me to test out, do comment them down below and I'll definitely check them out. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I have had the best time filming it. I've really, really enjoyed this. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.